Well, anyway, my opponent played well in that game. I have nothing to complain about. Took his time on his moves, played good moves. Okay, he's going for some kind of color system, perhaps. Or perhaps a stone wall. I'm going to go with this uh, Queen's Indian approach <clears throat> I've been playing lately. Oh, that's interesting. So he didn't like uh, the idea of uh, this bishop striking on this diagonal, and he didn't like the idea of uh, something hopping into this square. Let's just go direct with um, d5 then. Yeah, so he's gone with the stone wall. Now I can put a knight here if I want to, but let's uh, take my time developing here. Okay, let's get the bishop here so I can trade off this knight if I want to. And let's get castled. Everybody's happy. <clears throat> yeah, so the question is, I, I mean, if I take with the knight now, he takes back and forks my two pieces, so I'm not going to do that. So we will start by hopping my knight in here and see what he does. And then the question is, do I want to chase his knight away? Oh, he didn't, uh, he didn't um, respond there, huh? Okay, well, let's uh, kick the queen. Bring in an extra defender for my knight. I think it would have been better if he had taken my knight and forced me to do something with the F file here. So now I can take this knight with either piece. I think um, taking with the bishop is actually better. Contrary to the usual preference of taking with the knight. Okay, he's just uh, defending things. I was thinking I'd kick the bishop back. I'm not sure. Let's leave the tension there for a moment. See, maybe I could bring my queen out. This would go with check, although I can't actually take it now. I have to figure out how to get this into the game. I was thinking maybe this way, here to here. Ah, he has that knight. Okay, that's true, that's true. Let's step back. Still knight to um, f8 to g6 looks interesting. This, this rook is trapped. And if he plays rook to um, h, rook to h4, and then, and then the knight on f8 defends the uh, that square. <clears throat> okay, so. What's the best way to exploit this situation? Pawn up, then knight to here. His rook can just retreat. Pawn to here immediately. Yeah, that's it. Pawn to here. Uh, he's got two pieces attacking it. I have two pieces defending it. The rook has no moves. <clears throat> if it goes here, it gets forked. 
by the pawn. Ah, so he goes that way. But, uh, well, see, he took a knight. I get to take a rook, and his bishop is still hanging, right? Let's take that rook. <clears throat> okay, so he retreated. Um, so didn't I just win <laughs> some material here? Yeah, won the exchange. Okay, just preparing to chase that queen away. And uh, well, it all kind of depends on where he goes with the knight. Yeah, if he goes there, I thought uh, rook here. It's also rook here. Threatening to take the knight. He defends it, then I bring the queen out. Queen Shade would be favorable for me. He's not buying it, huh? Well, again, he's taken a pawn. And I can take a rook. I mean, a piece. A knight in this case. So, can't, can't believe that's a good move. Maybe he's counting on, uh, you know, the attack here, but that's uh, defended twice, three times. <laughs> Got uh, queen, knight, and king, as well as now the rook chasing the queen away and defending there. So let's just take here. It's a piece. So, hit that queen, see where it wants to go. Yeah, let's get the bishop up there. Blockade the pawn and then make room for my rook to come in. So, knight here to here, this looks good. <laughs> He's been moving very quickly, but eventually this will cost him. <clears throat> looks like he's not ready to give up yet, though. 
Mm, shall we get rid of his uh, last piece? Last heavy piece. Aha. Need to find a way to break through here. He's got a lot of pawns, we have to admit. We will take. And then it's uh, made in two. All right. Well, that was a nice way to get a win. <clears throat> like that game. He was, he was fighting all the way. It was not always sound, but it's difficult to refute these aggressive players sometimes. So good to finally take one down. Let's get another game. Yeah, start with the D4 this time. I don't know. I, maybe I just played black so far. Okay, we're going with the old d4, c4. And uh, we'll allow the Nimzo Indian if he wants to play it. He does. So I play the Rubenstein variation with e3. Just shore up the center. Keep developing. Don't mind the doubled pawn. If he wants to take it. Yeah, this is an interesting point. So I think I just castle here, though. If he takes here, I take with the bishop. If he takes here, I can take with the knight. If I take his pawn, just gives his bishop some freedom. Okay, so let's kick the bishop now and see where it, what it wants to do. The bishop retreats, I'm actually going to take this pawn, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, it needs to take. Okay. And we get this, so he's kicking the bishop back. And then he has a choice here of uh, taking or pushing again. Or neither. Oh, interesting. I take here. He trades queens and then takes my knight. Huh? That's his idea. And then, uh, so my king side is messed up. I have an extra pawn, but it's a doubled isolated pawn. I wonder if I move the knight first. It's another person who is playing very fast. So uh, some ideas here, rook to the B file, push this pawn, undermine the queen side. Um, if he takes here, I don't like that. So let's go ahead and take. Other things I could do is uh, push, push the D pawn, A pawn rather, to block his bishop. Can't do that yet though. I'd have to bring the rook over. I think uh, going to the queen side is interesting, but if I do that and push the pawn, his queen is actually here. So let's push this pawn first. Yeah, and his bishop is defended by the queen as well. Queen was doing a good, good job on that square. So he wants to mate me. Let's disallow that. I 
think maybe queen here next, then I can push and push and get my queen up to this square. Plus it defends here if I ever need to, say, take a knight that jumps in there. He may be thinking of uh, yeah pushing pushing his uh, e pawn but he chose a different thing he chose to attack my backward c pawn here it's not i don't know if it's technically backwards when it's uh got a pawn blocking it so it can't be attacked from the front but it is uh it's not supportable by any of my pawns so i have to support it with a piece but he has to attack it with a piece so i guess that's all Fair and balanced, huh? Yeah, I want to go there, even at the risk of him playing his knight here. Question is, where does it go from there? I move my queen. It could go here. I mean, maybe I should just take it. Take that knight. So I decided to retreat. Okay. So what's my plan here? He's no longer threatening this pawn so much, so let's um, bring a rook to the center here. Let's uh, maneuver this bishop around. The knight could go back here, or the queen. But if the knight goes there, I can pin it. Well, this is someone who's thinking about his moves. I guess I have to like that. At least I can't complain about him not thinking about his moves. So he just stepped away from the challenge here. Should I take this pawn? Now that he can take back with the queen here. Let's uh, first move my bishop. <clears throat> connect my rooks before I decide what to do over here. So if I take and he takes back with the queen, I'll give him a passed pawn over here, but it's isolated and might become weak as well. Ah, so he decided to do that. So if I push here first, he will trade queens and then take or something. So let's take. So this is um, a skewer, isn't it? Does he have a way to avoid uh, losing material here? Yeah, the queen can go back here. Okay, so I can threaten this pawn. You know, I can threaten the bishop, but how about if I uh, pile up on the pawn first?
and use that as a way to double my rooks. I say a queen should not be used to blockade a pawn. <laughs> it's true, it can be chased away, but uh, it'll do in a pinch. If you need a blockade. Yeah, here's a problem, right? Knight is going here and is going to chase that queen away. I go here, he goes here, check. Okay, let's go here. Gets a tempo by hitting the... Did I hang a rook? Oh, I hung a rook. Oh, thank you, Joe. <laughs> he hung a... If, I, if he takes the rook, I take the knight. So it's just hanging the exchange. Unless he can move the knight with tempo. Yeah, I couldn't move the queen. Had to do something else there. Good point. It goes back there. So, um, Bishop here, Queen here, huh? Well, let's go ahead and bring the bishop out. And this pawn is not under attack at the moment. And um, see what he wants to do. He wanted to trade queens. That was a very reasonable thing to do. A bishop here. We do have opposite colored bishops here. He doesn't have a well, that's not quite the way to put it. I have an extra bishop, and he has an extra rook. But this extra bishop is unopposed then. Ah, he moved to the side. So if I go here, does that work anyway? Okay, maybe push this pawn. Threaten mate. So he goes there. What do I do? I don't have an easy way of getting on this diagonal, which would wreck him if I could do it. <laughs> I won on time. <laughs> well, I guess I kept playing, and he was low on time. Uh, let's check a few things here. What before the uh, before I hung a rook? What was I supposed to do here? And what was my position like? Plus point six. So just that slight opening advantage is all I have still here. But it's been an interesting game, and I should play just bishop back to defend against the... I didn't like that, yeah, because his knight hops in here. But if it does that, I take here, okay. So 
So I have an extra pawn, but uh, he's chasing me around, so it looks like it's still about an even game there. Would have been interesting. And then after this, uh, yeah, I'm just losing. So probably losing most of the way, although he, he was low on time and wasn't finding the best moves here. Interesting. Let's get a new game. Okay, let's try E4. The last one was D4. Edward Morphy. Hmm, looks like he wants to play um, King's Indian. I can do a Fianchetto too, I guess. I wonder if I should do e4, c4. We'll try it. Yeah, as I've managed to get into a Botvinnik system through through the back door, I guess, because I started off with E4. Normally, you would play C4 at the beginning to, to get into a Botvinnik system. And I've confused my opponent, it looks like. Hey, he's taking his time. I mean, should probably just continue with this setup. Bring his bishop out to here. Lots of things for black to do. Not sure why he's uh, hesitating. Maybe, maybe somebody rang the doorbell and he's got to go answer it. Or maybe he was expecting some sort of e4, e5 opening that I didn't play. <laughs> Started with e4. He could have played a normal opening, but he went for the fianchetto. Let's see. Knight here. It's always something to think about. Hitting those weak spots, but at the moment I don't think it um, can stay there. It'll just get chased away. And these weak spots are defended well enough to deal with this single knight. The structure seems to block in the bishops. It's kind of a funny setup. Both bishops seem to be blocked in, but it's often the case that uh, white will get in a freeing move like uh, f4, and then, then the things will open up in the center. So should I take it? Not yet. I think I'll just uh, continue with my setup, and he can take if he wants. So I want to play here, put my king here, put my bishop here. That would pretty much complete the setup. I don't want to put the bishop here right away because his knight might hop in here annoyingly. <clears throat> and 
and then push the F pawn. It looks like we're going for a kingside expansion here. See, queen to queen to d2 is possible, trading off the dark squared bishops before before launching on this uh, adventure. Got to be careful. The queen, the queen and the king will be in forking position there, so got to make sure I have control over this uh, f3 square. Um, but it looks like it's good, so let's just do this. So trade off the bishop first, and then, then I can take here with the knight. Can't do it now because uh, taking back with the pawn would fork those two pieces. Oh, that's very clever. Can't take with the bishop because then he would fork my king and queen. So I have to take with the king or let him keep the pawn. I suppose I could do that too. But I'm going to try uh, just taking with my king, getting rid of the threat. that way. Okay, he's serious about this, it looks like. So I still think, think I don't have to do anything. If I go here, he'll go there with the queen check. It's kind of annoying. Okay, we'll just get rid of that knight. I guess I'll come forward with this knight. Don't want to, on the back rank, blocking up the communication of my rooks. And now I can chase the queen away with my bishop or just uh, step back so he's going to go there with the knight huh he was going to create a mate threat by putting his knight here and i didn't really have a good answer to that oh uh, well, I can take with check, but he keeps he. I was in check, so I didn't have an immediate uh, answer. Yeah, let's take this with check. Get rid of that threat, and he resigned. Oh yeah, because it also uh, takes the queen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wasn't seeing everything there. Yeah, this is this is good for me. This is winning. Yeah, so this whole adventure starting with um, Bishop takes here. Yeah, it was just an even game to this point. There was no need to go for this. I mean, he's looking for cheap tricks like this. 
So, but the best move is to take. It's the only move that doesn't leave you down a pawn. And then after he played here, go back. Yeah, I was expecting knight here, but the knight then, um, and then I was going to get off the file. And, but the knight there uh, blocks the queen. So he doesn't have a good follow-up. So he came out with the queen. And I could have pushed here right away. I wondered about that. What did I play instead? I decided, this is where I decided to take the knight. And that was okay too. And then here, once again, there was a trick, right? I had to block with the bishop. If I just went here with the king, the knight comes here. And I actually can't escape this mate. Uh, well... What, is it, what does it do? Looks dangerous. Is that the best he can do? Minus two. So his best move here is not to come in with the queen immediately, but to play the bishop here first. Wow, I block with a knight. So he can get a piece back. And he's, he's winning here. If I don't block with the knight and just move the queen. Seems he just has a good attack here. Why can't I take that? Oh, because uh, my king is nearly trapped. Hmm. Yeah, well, black would have to be a really good player to play all of that and get those moves correct. <laughs> anyway, let's get another game here. 